Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, you're gonna be learning why you need magnesium for a healthy mitochondria and why you need magnesium for your ATP. And it's me, Amir, guys. How are you doing? In this week's video, I'm gonna be showing you right now why you need magnesium to make your mitochondria happy. So let's take a look at over here and see what's going on. First, this is just a miniature diagram of your mitochondrial membrane, okay? So this is that lipid bilayer I was talking about in my previous videos. And the lipid bilayer is nice and jelly. It's full of choline healthy fats. And you have different complexes within your electron transport chain in your mitochondria. So you go complex one, two, three, four. And the final fifth one is where all the magic happens. That's where you create ATP through the hydrogens being pumped through the turbine. So the hydrogens will go down in here and this turbine will spin around like this and eventually it's gonna open up certain channels in here, right, this is called F1, open up certain channels in here. ADP will bind with inorganic phosphate and you'll create ATP. That's how a healthy electron transport chain works, right? So you got hydrogens going in here, boom, the turbine spinning around, all the mechanisms happening, uh, ADP is binding with inorganic phosphate, you're creating ATP. Fantastic. This is where the magnesium connection happens. As you can see, actually, ATP should be called magnesium ATP because without magnesium, you cannot create ATP. So it's mandatory, uh, magnesium is a molecule of life. And through our industrial revolution, our farming practices, and because we're very stressed out today, our magnesium levels are extremely low. So that's why you see people walking around with chronic fatigue, insomnia, many different ailments, because their intracellular red blood cell magnesium levels are extremely low. So magnesium is crucially important towards your ATP production. So next time someone tells you ATP, you should tell them, no, it's mag ATP. That's one crucial important element. The second really, really important thing when it comes to magnesium and your mitochondrial electron transport system is your lipid bilayer. Because if you have been following my previous posts and videos, you know that certain foods that you eat will create electrons. You know, you'll get electrons from food. And these electrons will go into your different complexes and they'll go through the chain and help you pull hydrogens out from here, inner membrane to the outer membrane. But what happens is magnesium, so I'll put an MG right here, magnesium is actually responsible for dictating the permeability, meaning the fluidity of your membrane, right? So if you have a decrease in magnesium, say no more magnesium, your cell membrane, the lipid bilayer, oxidizes and becomes rusty. So that means if this is rusty, meaning you know these circles may become rigid as stars or something like that, your hydrogens, right, will not be able to escape outside. The permeability closes, so it becomes like a cement-like structure which is horrible, horrible because you need the hydrogens to uh, power up your turbine here to create ATP, right? So that's why magnesium is crucially important. Okay, so now you know magnesium is needed for ATP and the cell permeability. The next major question is how do you actually rebalance your magnesium levels? Well, number one, I always recommend people to have a cup of bone broth a day Bone broth is completely loaded with magnesium. It's absolutely fantastic and quite affordable for everyone to do because pretty much costs nothing to make. Number two, Epsom salt baths. So you know me, I'm a huge proponent of sleep. So before sleep in like an hour or so, take a beautiful bath in the Epsom salts. That's also magnesium. Number three, control your stress. Stress depletes magnesium, cortisol goes and robs all your minerals from your body. So learn how to control stress. And number four, sometimes supplements must be uh, input in order to optimize your intracellular red blood cell magnesium levels. So I love liposomal magnesium, transdermal magnesium, and you can utilize it every single day. If you guys want a more comprehensive write-up about this video, I've written a huge article about it. All you gotta do is click the link right there and I'll take you to the article. 
Okay, my friends, I really hope you enjoyed today's video about why you need magnesium for your mitochondria. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my video by clicking the button below, leave some comments, and please head over to amirrosic.com and join the Optimal Nation. Have an amazing week. Make sure you get your magnesium. <laughs> Take care, guys.